Hello viewers, welcome to my Doctor Who themed YouTube channel, Who Ventures. And this video is my review of Doctor Who Series 9, Episode 9, and the episode is called Sleep No More. My overall score for this episode is 2 out of 10, mainly because I didn't really like the episode, but there was some very nice um, close-ups of Peter Capaldi as the Doctor, close-ups of his face, so they would be very useful for drawing graphing, so I appreciated that. The reason why I didn't like this episode is because it didn't seem to be very good. The acting, I thought, was seemed come, came across really flat and like it was like still rehearsal footage I wasn't to, um, to start with before the episode I realised that I'd sort of misinterpreted what found footage would be because when I first read about this episode when the Radio Times came out with the um, comments from Stephen Moffat about the episodes I saw that it said found footage I saw that it said found footage and I thought oh cool because I thought found footage was like getting like clips from TV shows or in like little snippets from YouTube and putting them together in sort of a collage way to make a whole thing to make a story out of different bits of other pieces because that's what found art is, is just taking, like, collecting bits from nature and interesting bits people have found, that's what found art is, but apparently found footage is making, is creating your own footage and making it all fuzzy to look like somebody's found it. So I was a bit disappointed when I realised that's what it was going to be and not like a collage of various YouTube and, and other TV shows. So the episode starts with um, Gagan Rasmussen, played by Rhys Shearsmith, and he's in orbit around that year. The very uh, and he's, uh, the conceit is that he's found this, there's this found footage. I'm going to skip straight to the conclusion and the actual, what it actually is, is that there's these sandmen monsters and they grow from when you sleep, you have sand come in your eye and this Rasmussen has invented the Morpheus machine so that allows humans to sleep for five minutes. So they sleep for five minutes and then the sand grows in their eye and he's got somebody in there who's been in it for five years so he's got like uber sand to make a sand man. Yeah, it really does sound rubbish. But the whole thing is this meant to be like a found footage thing but it turns out Greg Rasmussen has sort of actually edited it all together so I think that was sort of meant to be like a meta quote kind of thing and these sandmen have been talking to him and he thinks they're like babies and the sandmen have taken over Rasmussen and made this video which is crap and the, the plan of Rasmussen was to send these sand creatures out so they could take over the planet and everybody would become sand creatures but apparently that's not the plan at all the plan was just to have this found footage film thing and there wasn't a plan to take over or anything so uh, Rasmussen just like Rasmussen slash sand Rasmussen just put it together all for a fat like story and then the episode finished. And it didn't have any opening titles because it was meant to be a found footage episode. But I didn't... Well, there was loads of characters in, but they were all a bit... Um, just 
wooden basically well the acting was flat but I don't know if that was because they were directed just to act really flat and we didn't get to know any of the characters properly um, they didn't seem the characters didn't really seem to have much point and then the Doctor and Clara turn up and I like the exchange where it says you can't just put space on everything and be all high tech and sci-fi and I thought that was quite funny and he gets his psychic paper out the stress assesses where is it not enough to cut pets she kept saying pet that was a kind of annoying that she kept saying pet every sentence she said and then I like that bit when she says consider yourself a part of the furniture I thought that was good and then it's the 13th century and there was a great catastrophe or something so then the ship and 474 is a grunt program to respond to physical threat but she kind of fancies one of the soldier guys but there wasn't really much to that because the because she was that program grunt so there wasn't really much to it and then there's this like static effect but it looked really fake because it was all in blocks it wasn't that like, proper static it was just in blocks and the docs is like old me and Clara because he's scared so that's apparently meant to be like a bit like hide when they hold hands because they're scared and then Morpheus it knows when you need sleep machine so there's this machine and then Clara accidentally falls in the machine ends up in there for five minutes and then these holograph ladies come on saying oh Mr Sandman bring me a dream make him the cutest that I've ever seen so that like hologram on this machine while she like then she sleeps for five minutes, the doctor gets her out again. And the idea of the um, Morpheus machine, so humans can just continue work, 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 which I think David Cameron has probably invented something like that. Because it's meant to just have everybody just working all the time, which I, is a philosophy on our earth by David Cameron and the government that I really hate because we're on this like beautiful planet which but we don't know how we got here really because we're blessed to be put on this beautiful planet and then the government just wants us to work 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 die and that's it why would we be put on a beautiful planet if all we have to do is uh, uh, work, money, work, money, work, money, work, money. Okay, next generation of humans. Work, money, work, money, work, money. It's horrible. That's what I don't like about planet. I wish, I wish everybody could live in peace, and that we could just enjoy beauty. So I agreed with that bit in the episode. So as I've noted, now screen caps for drawing the doctor. But then it turns out the sleep dust in the corner of your eye grows into a sand monster. And then Deep Ando is the soldier guy that the AM474 grunt likes, but he can't get into the rooms because he has to sing the Mr. Sandman song. The the Sandmen were a combination of men in suits and CGI. They weren't scary. Then we had Shaky Cam, which looked really shit Shaky Cam. It's like, oh, moving the camera. And these are the Sandmen. <sighs> oh, oh, the cam, the spaceship's wobbling. Ah, they were. They weren't even doing the oh, spaceships wobbling, it was just the camera going, so. And then the graph shields, the doctor turns back on her, and the doctor's quite Shakespeare a lot. I'm not quite sure how exactly that was particularly relevant. Uh, 
then that, that is oh things are acting Almic cams we haven't got Almic cams oh Clara's been recording because she's got dust in her eye 474 um, um, basically goes away and like dies we don't get to know any of the characters doctor found a video cam the doctor didn't I didn't really solve a problem or anything in this episode didn't really do anything. The dust has been watching. Sleeping, yeah, a bit like Amy in the time of Angels where she got a uh, rock dust in her eye. An assignment speech to Greg Rasmussen like their babies. Patient zero, man hasn't slept for five years. All for effect, like a story. So it turns out all he'd just been lying and just made it all up. And I didn't get why more. I'm not quite sure why this story was pit was commissioned. It was rubbish. Just like at the end, it basically admits it. Yeah, there's no point to it really. Cause I ju it's just really felt weird. Cause. The episodes this season that I've really liked have been The Witch Familiar, Magician's Apprentice, and then all the stuff with a shelter. But this is like, I don't want to offend them because I'm sure they were trying hard, but it just seemed like the Doctor and Clara weren't, like they weren't even acting. It just seemed like they were in rehearsal, but I don't know if that was deliberate. Because Peter Capaldi can act so much better than that. And we've seen him act so much better than that in this series. I'm just confused by it. I don't know if they filmed it when they were just all really tired. Because they just didn't seem to be very good, but I don't know if that because Rasmussen made it so they weren't very good and we don't know how why the doctor and clara turned up there and we don't know how they've left or whether, whether the, there was a point of them being there it's just flat but i always have fun chatting on gallery base every week and I'm excited to see how the series is going to conclude with the next three episodes which seem really exciting. So I think the best episode that Mark Gatiss has done is Crimson Ari and Robin, the robots of, robot of Sherwood with Robin Odd in it. I like Robot of Sherwood because it was really, really funny. And I thought um, the Doctor was like, oh, so awesome in it. And Crimson Horror, because it had really nice horror film feel to it. And obviously, um, Eleven was doing Yorkshire accent and stuff. I thought that was really good. I mean, I had Strax and the Peter Noster gang. But this one, I just, it just felt, it just felt really flat. And I don't know what they were trying to achieve with this episode, because... I just felt it was boring and it's, I didn't really understand the point of the episode because it was just boring, it was like, I felt like there was no point to the episode. I just didn't get it, I didn't get how oh, it's scary or interesting. But I don't want to seem rude, I still love Peter Capaldi and Jenna Coleman. I still think they're awesome people. I just didn't like this episode. So that's my review. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Yay.